Good morning, you guys. Taylor already left for work and it's Vlogmas day eight. It's around 8.30. I'm getting ready to put uh, dinner in the crock pot. I'm gonna do a crock pot stew. I also have some music going. This is Sovereign Grace music. Really, really great. Kids have been playing like crazy <laughs> this morning. Um, but the music, it's uh, Sovereign Grace music. I will link their channel. They're on like Spotify and all of that. But it's, I think they write most of their music, but they base it off of scripture. And so they'll take like a scripture passage and then make it into music, which is beautiful. Um, so like Psalms and different uh, well-known scriptures they do. And they're beautiful. They're super well done. They're not cheesy. They're just beautiful. So we love listening to them too. But they have great Christmas albums. The boys are just working on some a little craft to keep them busy right now because they requested to do a craft. Doing these nativity stickers from Hobby Lobby on just some construction paper. And then I'm going to start, I'm getting ready to start, um, doing a stew for dinner tonight. I'm gonna do a crock pot stew. So I'm gonna start getting that prepped. All right, I've got the beef um, browning, which is looking really good. And then I did get everything cut up and uh, put all the tomato sauce and seasonings in there. So that's already going. And then I'm just going to add this in whenever this is done browning. All right, just added the meat into the stew. So this should be dinner tonight, which should be good. Just made the boys some lunch. We got some organic mac and cheese, some carrots, apples, and then Field's got the same thing, but with some celery. I've been doing lots of crafts this morning. I've just kind of been letting them do whatever they want with just some extra stuff I had. So just getting creative, but just a really chill, chill day. I'm ready to feed Ivy some baby food. Well, it is one of those days that I have not gotten ready for the day yet, and it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> But that's okay, I'm gonna get ready once the kids are all down for naps. I just put Field down for a nap, and Noble's getting ready to go down, and so is Ivy. Um, we did finish lunch. I threw um, a bunch of towels in the washer, so that's going. I got all the kids dressed, clean clothes. I feel like that's always an achievement whenever you get every single kid dressed in clean clothes <laughs> for the day. To me, that's a lot of work to get them all dressed, but. They're all in clean clothes, and hopefully I'll throw another load of laundry in later. Um, but I did go ahead and pull out the uh, clothes that I needed to that to, to declutter. So Ivy's outgrown these two sleepers, which I, I do, I think I'm gonna pack these away because these are pretty nice ones. These are the pants that I'm going to probably have to just throw away. Um, Noble's worn holes in them. And then these we had to cut whenever he got his cast because we couldn't get his other pants off. So those will probably just get tossed, but these I'm just gonna pack away. Well, I am now dressed for the day. I put makeup on, and did my hair, I feel good. I did just put my sweatpants on and the shirt, which I love this shirt, you guys, but where Field got blood on me, I stain treated it, but it didn't come out, which is fine. I've been using, using this shirt as a lounge shirt and it was thrifted, so. No loss, really. I just love the view of that Christmas tree, right? It's so pretty. But the stew is smelling so delicious. Good. The lighting in here is not that great with this camera. But I need to go ahead and stir this. And I'll probably add another can of tomato sauce to it. Um, because the broth kind of watered it down, but... Looks good. All right, now all the kids are down for naps. So I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do at this time? <laughs> the kitchen, the living room has been played in, so it is a happy mess, if you will. I think I may read my book. I'm really tempted to make like some hot chocolate. I've stopped drinking coffee in the afternoon as of right now because I noticed I would feel pretty like jittery and anxious towards the late afternoon and I just didn't like that feeling. So I'm probably gonna do hot chocolate. I think that'd be really good. And read my book or do my crossword puzzle, you guys. <laughs> 
So this is that crossword puzzle I bought yesterday at Dollar Tree and uh, it's kind of entertaining, which is really funny. I've never been into crossword puzzles, but Taylor and I even were doing it together <laughs> and he was helping me last night. It was kind of funny. Anyway, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate and just relax for a little bit while they sleep. Okay, these are my favorite. I really like the dark chocolate one. Um, but this is the mint chocolate and you can usually find these for like 75 cents or something like that at the grocery store um, I also really need to remember to charge my phone this is really low and the great thing about this is it takes forever to die and so I can go like a week without charging it probably shouldn't do that but it's usually what I've been doing <laughs> and it's probably been a week so I need to charge it um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make my hot chocolate real quick. Also, a lot of you guys said you came from Hillary's channel. I don't know if she mentioned me or not, but thank you, welcome. So glad to have you guys over. I actually have been watching her YouTube videos for Vlogmas, I'm a couple of videos behind. So I think I'm gonna do that instead because I like watching them when there's peace and quiet. And now that I have a delicious hot chocolate, enjoyable when you can watch your favorite YouTube channel and just drink something yummy. Um, but I will leave her channel linked down below if you haven't heard of Hillary's channel. It's Old World Home. She's got four kiddos. Um, great family. I love her content. She's always so motivating and inspiring and just a great overall channel to be subscribed to. So I think I'm going to do that. Well, I just got done catching up on Hillary's Vlogmas. Ivy just woke up, you can hear her on the monitor, and then Fields just sitting right here on the couch. So kids are starting to wake up. It is 10 till two. Dinner is going, still going in the crock pot. It smells so good. And uh, Taylor should be home in about an hour. So, just kind of a pretty chill day. So I have not hopped on my camera in a hot minute. <laughs> Today, uh, Taylor got home and then we just kind of hung out as a family. He made coffee for himself. I did not have coffee. And then I threw in some cookies and yeah, we just hung out and then ate dinner. The stew was so yummy. I will link the recipe that I kind of go off of. I definitely use what I have. Some of the herbs and stuff I don't have or I sub certain things typically, but it's always super yummy no matter what. Stew is pretty pretty easy um, as long as you add like a tomato sauce and herbs, I feel like is what really makes it, as well as onion and garlic. But it's pretty good, super yummy. There's a lot left over, so we'll probably have that for dinner tomorrow and I'm kind of in the mindset of working through cleaning out our deep freeze and um, just some pantry goods that I know won't last by the time we move because I cannot believe we actually move next month. <laughs> like, that is wild to me. And I keep thinking like, oh, it's not for a while, but it's gonna come faster, way faster than I think. And I just need to be prepared and start working through our deep freezing the food in there and planning meals with that. 
I'm actually in Field's room right now because it's quiet. <laughs> um, the kitchen still needs to be cleaned, but Taylor said he's gonna do that. And I'm going to work on editing tomorrow's video because I am a little bit behind on editing and so I need to get to doing that so then him and I can just hang out, watch Downton Abbey or chat, whatever, just have some alone time with him. And I don't really like to be editing in the evenings, but I wanna get a head start. So um, anyway, yeah, so we're moving next month. I cannot believe that. And I'm starting to like think, okay, we need to start getting boxes. We need to finish painting the living room. <laughs> But also I'm trying not to overwhelm myself because I want to be um, just in a peaceful season for Christmas and um, after Christmas I can worry about all the things as well. It's going to be a pretty easy move for us because we don't have a lot of stuff, uh, which I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful that I've been working through and decluttering everything before we move, before, before we move. Um, so anyway, I think it's going to go well. There's just a couple other little kinks that we have got to work out before the move. But for the most part, we're ready. It's crazy. I cannot believe it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to work on cleaning out the laundry room, like top shelf, because some reason that always collects clutter. And right now it's my sewing stuff. And so I need to like organize that and put stuff away where it needs to go. And uh, I think that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't really need to do any decluttering, like actual decluttering other than putting stuff away. Um, I just, when I was downstairs, I was organizing the pantry, trying to look at all the stuff that I have. Um, but we definitely have a lot of meat in the deep freeze and like frozen vegetables, so. Before I plan our next grocery order, I need to plan meals off of that stuff so I can start working through it all <laughs> because moving with that kind of stuff is not even possible. <laughs> I don't want to even plan for an ice chest or anything because that would just be ridiculous. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of my pro thought process and uh, I need to start collecting boxes and doing all the things. I also would like tomorrow if I have time, I'll probably have to do it when Taylor gets home, is pull everything out of Field's closet. There's not many things in there, maybe a couple clothing bins, and pull that stuff out so this closet is empty, and because Field keeps getting in the clothing bins <laughs> and finding shoes and all the things, and then he'll wake up with like two different shoes on his feet <laughs> from nap time. It's really funny. Anyway, but yeah, I would like to do it tomorrow, and so yeah. I hope this vlog wasn't too terribly short. I didn't really pick up the camera a ton today because it was just a chill day. We weren't doing a whole lot. It was super cloudy and it rained today and just not, not a crazy busy day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day eight. <laughs> I hope I'm right with that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow, bye.